Hey guys, fall is almost here and I'm really inspired by bright metallic eyes. So I went with this gold foil eye and this bright pink lip. And I'm also going out tonight. So it's from start to finish, face, hair, makeup, nails. So if you guys are interested, then let's jump into it. So I'm starting off with the skin since I really want a nice, smooth, dewy look. And I'm working in some of this illuminating pumpkin wash. Uh, it is, it smells divine, okay? And so I'm just rubbing this in to any of my rougher areas. This one comes in this month's Ipsy Glam Bag, and you guys know I'm an Ipsy creator, so the video is sponsored. But I'm just gonna go ahead and pat my face dry, and then I'm adding a little bit of this illuminating facial oil. It's really gonna keep my skin really hydrated and moist. Okay, I know a lot of people don't like the word moist, but... I like to use that word, so <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and take some of this illuminating primer and it's really gonna help to kind of smooth my face, but also it's gonna give me a really beautiful glow. Taking a little bit of chapstick just so my lips don't get dry. And then we're gonna go in with some brows. So I'm taking this brow pencil, I love this shade because it's literally like my eyebrow shade and I'm just filling in and making sure to brush it out so if I get any clumps or anything that's too dark just making sure to brush it into place um, and I like how precise this liner is it really gets into it, it really draws nice fine hairs so it looks really nice and natural And then I'm taking some of this foundation, which I noticed was a little bit too light. This one's from Laura Mercier, and I like that it stays on all day, but I definitely got a tan. So I'm gonna hope that this one oxidizes a little bit, but you guys can see, I'm just really basically buffing this in to my skin. I like to start with a small amount and then build up if I need to. See, you guys can see it's so light. By the end of the video though, it looks, it's fine. So, <laughs> so it's fine and everything is okay. Everything's all right. It works out. And then I'm taking some of this cream blush. This is literally my favorite blush that I've been grabbing to for all the days that have been passed. So I'm taking this on a fluffy brush and just stippling that on. So that way I don't wipe off all of uh, my foundation, but it's such a pretty color. Oh my God, it looks so good on everyone. This red blush shade. Um, but I love that it's creamy. It blends right into the skin. It looks like a nice natural flush. Okay, so this is from Pat McGrath. It's a gold cream. It's so, I don't have the words. Look at it, look at it, look at this. But if you can't afford the Pat McGrath and you wanna save some coin, ColourPop has a really great alternative that looks just as good. Um, but I'm gonna go with the Pat one because it does have a little bit more uh, glitter particles in it, but look, just the same thing. So I'm starting off with some mixing medium and I find that it really helps to kind of make the product glide since I'm using this as a liner. So just taking a liner brush and going against my lash line until it's real bold. You can get as thick as you want, as thin as you want, because uh, this is gonna be basically the main focal point of the eyes. So get it how you like it, do it how, do it how you like to do it, okay? She was looking for somebody, she was out with her friends. I could see her looking out for someone to depend on. Like her eyes on me. And then I'm taking this all the way to the inner corner of the eye. And I just love this color. Gives me feelings. Gives me a lot of feelings. Feelings I didn't know that I had. So this part is completely optional, but I'm taking this greeny, it's like a bronzy, like a antique shade. And this is going uh, on my, it's a tight line. It's gonna give me some definition at the lash line without doing anything that's super severe and dark and black without overshadowing the golds. So yeah, smudge a little bit of that in. And then I'm taking some of this Wonder Wand mascara. It has this really great hourglass shape. So it grabs every single lash. And uh, I'm just combing it out a little bit so my lashes look more wispy. Wispy, not crispy. 
So this part is muy optional, but I'm taking a really warm brown, and this is going in the crease with a fluffy brush. I like this brush because it doesn't pack it on too heavy. It gives you a really nice softened appearance in your crease, so it's kind of like adding the shade, but also blending it at the same time. So this is my one of my favorite products that I've been using for a very long time. This is the uh, Bobbi Brown Under Eye Corrector in Peach, but I like it because I could just use this by itself without any concealer on top. So yeah, I like that. I'm just basically stippling that on, keeping it real nice and light and fresh. I just wanna get rid of the, the, the darkness without really caking on the product. And then this RMS Unpowder, which I love so very much because it really does mattify the skin. Make It makes the skin look really skin-like, um, not like you have a ton of powder on. So I'm just patting this on with a fluffy brush, making sure not to go too crazy. But I also like that it doesn't lighten my skin. It's completely transparent. So I'm just adding a little bit more blush uh, just to brighten up my face again. And then I'm taking this really shimmery bronzing duo. Uh, you can use them separately, but I like to mix them together because it really creates this really beautiful, look at this shine. It's so shimmery and look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Is that a song? I don't think so. Okay, so that's going on the brow bone and then the cheekbones, high points of the face, of course. Tip of the nose. And then I'll wipe off some of that lip, that lip stuff, and then put it on my Cupid's bow. So I'm going in with this super bright, vivid magenta pink from ColourPop. Uh, it's an Ipsy exclusive, exclusive only to Ipsy. It's like Ipsy shade pink, but it's so pretty. I just don't want to go too overboard. With it, so I'm applying it to the center of my lips and blending outwards, and it really gives me that like bitten look, that like Korean. I love Korean makeup. All I do is like <laughs> binge Korean skincare and Korean makeup videos. So I'm kind of inspired a little, um, just adding some mascara to the bottom lashes. And then I'm gonna add a little bit more of the gold to the bottom lash line, just in the inner bit of the eye, the, the first one third, like so, it kind of ties it together. Then we can move on to hair, cause this one is easy. So I'm pinning up the sides of my hair, just taking a standard old bobby, bobby pin and just pinning up that one little wedge, keeping the front out, keeping the back out. Make sure you don't pin too tightly. Save your edges. And pulling some hairs from the front. And then I'm taking some of these little, uh, these gold beads that I normally wear in my twists and my braids, but I'm applying them to my curls because I just, I had the feeling. I haven't seen that yet. I know someone has done it, but I haven't seen it yet. And um, I just had the idea, so. I'm gonna do that. If you guys think I'm crazy, it's cool. But I love jeweled hair. Okay, bless you, bless you, bless you. I love jeweled hair. Like I just love putting things in my hair. I just love putting things in my hair. So I have this gold leaf that I got from Amazon along with the rest of the beads and I just stuck that in my hair also. Like I said, <laughs> I'll put anything in my hair. <laughs> So just fluffing it out and that's it. Like that's, that's it. That's the look. That's what I'm going for. Kind of crazy, but also like pretty cute. So that's that. I'm going to finish up um, just basically touching up my nails. So I'm taking this gel like nail polish and I'm just touching up the burgundy. I did this, um, this is ombre that I tried to attempt. Uh, I used the burgundy at the bottom and then I used the hot pink at the tips. It's all right. <laughs> it's all right. But I really like this gel polish because it does make your nails look like gel. So I'm just taking some selfies because you know how it goes. And then I'm packing everything into my glam bag. It's such a cute little size and I'm done. So I thank you all so much for watching. I love you all a ton. Don't forget to 
subscribe and hit the notification alerts. And thank you to Ipsy again for partnering with me on this video. I will catch you guys next time. Bye!